Hey, what's up, you guys? It, nope, I don't like that. Just kidding. Hey, you guys. Um, it is Michael here, and I haven't posted in a while. Um, so today's video is kind of going to be a lot of mixture of things. It's probably going to be a long one, so uh, bear with me. Um, I'm vlogging, I'm walking, I'm doing obviously a half a face today. So um, subscribe and comment and follow me on all my socials. I'll put all that in the description. Um, if you have any questions or, or comments or concerns or any, anything, feel free uh, to words uh feel free to reach out and be like hey what products did you use in case i forget to mention them in the video which i probably did um this video was this uh look was uh very easy uh not very wearable on a day on a daily basis but i loved it i loved how it came out i love the lip combo i love the pop of blue under the eye um but i'll explain all that in, in, into the video so um I tried to do an intro when I first started vlogging this morning, but it was gross. So I'm doing the intro now, and um, there you go. So the next clip should be me trying to do an intro. So enjoy the video, and like I said, like and subscribe, and I will try and post regularly. Haven't, um, hey friend, uh, posted in literally forever. So what we're gonna do is catch you up. Um, I am originally from Alabama, now I live in Florida. I moved in late July. I'm boiling pasta for pasta salad right now. So what the um, next clip is going to be is me starting to get ready. I'm going to make my pasta salad and I'm going to turn the Christmas tree on. Um, it is early December right now. I'm supposed to go home the day after Christmas to visit my family, which I'm super excited about. Um, I'm very excited. Oh, I'm just getting really tired. Is that when I have to vlog? Cool. We love that. Um, I'm gonna hold it like this, just for a second, because I'm gonna get a rest. Okay, cool. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna get ready um, for literally nothing. I'm not leaving the house today, so that's what we're gonna do. So I will get back to y'all in the next clip. Okay, quick update. I have thrown on a hat and a jacket. And I forgot I have to take the dog out, so I'm gonna do that. Before we get ready, we're gonna go take a dog for a walk. While my pasta sat, while my pasta is cooling for my salad, because that's what's for lunch today. Because it's eleven thirty, I've been up for an hour. We love that. Okay, so now next clip. We love a good salad moment and a foggy camera. In case I haven't said it, or I'm not gonna say it, which I probably will. I love living here. It's beautiful most of the time. My neighborhood specifically has like this like path. See, <laughs> to like walk through the neighborhood to like take your dogs and stuff, and. Luckily, my dog is extremely like good on leash and off leash, so we like to go off leash sometimes. We're just kind of walking around enjoying the beautiful Florida winter, which is like 65-ish today, which is honestly perfect weather. Just this cute little bomber jacket. I've got a little skinny jean on. Um, it's literally beautiful, and I mean like actually beautiful. And yeah, so I'm super excited about um getting stuff done today and starting vlogging again like again as in like i don't even know if i've ever posted any, any vlogs wow camera angle can we work on it um just because like super self-conscious and like super just a lot of issues you know so we're gonna get that taken care of me and myself and my fiance is amazing with helping me get getting through things like that and you know handle myself correctly and handles the situations correctly so that's what we're gonna work on and we're gonna work on self-love and self-acceptance and the good things that the good good things about life and the good things that you can focus on and channel my negativity into something positive and that's what we're gonna do so okay Finally, after all of this trying to figure out how I'm gonna film and 
um, all the extra, I'm actually sitting down to film. Yep, we're just going straight in. Just going straight in. I'm actually going to do this eye first. This, this eye first. Not doing my full face. I don't know if I mentioned that already. I'm not. Because it's just a lot to take. Y'all see this? This is absolutely disgusting and I'm really sorry about it. We're going with the Maybelline Age, Age Rewind as an eyeshadow product. What we're going to do is we're just going to on the eyelid right here. We're going to do a little more. Um, I'm going to be using the Sonia Keshuk uh, sponge so like a beauty blender. And they get really large. I have a large face. So let's we'll see. It's dirty, filthy, whatever. I don't clean my sponges. So I'm just going to blend this out really quick. I'm going to do my brows later. I don't do a lot to my brows. I just... Um, go through it with a uh, the Benefit Gimme Brow because I have a lot of brow anyway and I don't really need much definition because there's a lot there. I do need to get them done so I'm going to do that eventually. Well that's going to hurt after the end of the spilling. So I'm just going to sweep that over my I'm lid. I'm going to go back in with some more Age Rewind because that's not enough. I don't, I don't, I, we just need some more. So I've had to change the filming set up a little bit because I thought it was a good idea to set my phone on my palette <laughs> leaned up against my uh, brush holder which again makes no sense because I needed all those things to do this look I don't know brushes and <laughs> okay in my palette so it makes perfect sense right Michael good job cool so again just love how this concealer works it's very um very full coverage I look crazy that's okay if i decide to do my my full face after the fact then i guess it will be a full get ready with me but we don't know that yet depends on how i feel about how this eye look turns out um i guess we're gonna see okay we love that okay okay cool i think i'm going to go in with the jacqueline hill palette no i'm not i probably will but mainly i'm gonna use the dare to create palette by morphe the 39a I got this when it came out last year, and I'm so excited that it um, that they decided to keep it in, like, to bring it back um, because it's just such a beautiful palette. The colors blend beautifully. It's such a beautiful story. Just like this whole palette is gorgeous. This color right here and this green right here, these greens, beautiful. Transitions, love it. This red metallic right here, everything. So we're gonna go in with these two transitions right here and I'm gonna go in with a Morphe 441 brush tap off that wow let's try that again because I accidentally took into the black we don't want to do that yet I'm just gonna go in very lightly and just put this as a transition go back into those two colors it's just because that first transition is a little too light and the second one is a, just a smidge too dark. So I like to mix them together to get a perfect medium. See how like we're just blending that out. So having super hooded eyelids, you see how the color kind of like, I don't know if you can tell, but like it kind of just like dips down because my eyelid is like very hooded. But when I look up, like it just, it's shaped very oblong. So we're just going to try and make that work. It's the most difficult thing about um, having very hooded eyelids is that right there. So I'm going to go back in just with the deeper shade right there. All right. And just set that, that whole lid. We're going to have such a very nice base color. We're going to go from outer to inner corner, actually. I was going to just buff it on the outer, but I decided last minute to go with the inner corner as well. Just doing such an even shade again with that darker shade of the two of the first transitions if that made any sense that make any sense see how beautiful that already is just like nice i'm gonna go a little bit on the edge nick is texting me right now um i told him i was gonna start vlogging today and you know do a get ready with me and he was like please show me and i was like okay i was like yeah well. and he was like i love you and i was like, love you too okay so see that's just gonna be beautiful already so now we're going to go in with a i think this is going to be an m443 brush it's dirty and don't clean my brushes we love that we're going to go in with that middle kind of orangey shade kind of the darker very neutral very love that lining everything isn't it 
We're going to go in with that shade. And we're going to go right on that outer corner, just in the crease right there. Just like very outer corner. We're going to do padding motions. And then we're going to swipe. Not swipe. Very heavy. Very light hand because this is a very pigmented color. And go just on the outer shade. And I don't even know if you can. Yeah, you can tell. It's that beautiful orange shade. Oh, it's so pretty. We're gonna go with like a, a maroon cranberry kind of look. So we're gonna do this color story up here. And we're gonna go in with this top shade right here on that M441 brush. And we're gonna sweep that very gently across what we just did to kind of marry those two. That looks very, very pretty. See how beautiful that shade is? When you have extremely hooded eyelids like I do, you do not want to do the whole look looking down or even look with your eye closed because when you open your eye, the entire look is gone. So what you're going to want to do is look straight ahead and try and do um, most of the look with your eye open if you can just so you can... Uh, you can do the look based on what other people are going to see, if that makes any sense, which I think it does. Um, but we're going to go back in with this cranberry shade here. I'm going to go in on that same M443 that we, M433, LOL, that's what I meant, that we just used earlier. And we're going to deepen that up a little more. And it's okay if it looks kind of stodgy, right? That's not a word. Is it a word? Stodgy. Yeah. Kind of gross at there at the ending. We're going to fix that here in a little bit. We're just going to try to get the outer worked and we're going to clean up with the makeup wipe later. I just want to get that initial color down. I'm going to go in with this deeper shade at the very end. That one right there. That's very pretty already. On a M506, it's going to be more of a detailed brush. We're going to go at the very, very end and we're just going to pat this color on just to deepen the crease up and deepen the outer V a lot more just to get that definition. Again, look straight ahead to see if you can get that color correct. My dog's going around the corner. And again, I want to go right directly in your crease, like right in the socket of your eye right there. Look how beautiful that is already. Go right there. A little more cut off the excess we don't want to get too much color you can always just add color add color add color but you cannot take color away off of what you've already put on unless you want to start all the way over and i do not so now i'm gonna go with a very small detail brush this is the e36 brush it's gonna be a very small detailed brush right here it's gonna be a very nice pencil brush the black and the yeah this black and the jacqueline hill palette right here is um Honey, it's a black. Okay, and I mean like a black. And we want a good black, so we're going to go in sparingly, really. Because blacks are very difficult to work with. Take all no, add the excess off. And just very lightly on the outer. Almost like a liner. Way, wing it up again we're gonna clean it up later with a makeup wipe but just to deepen that and almost make it look like it's liner but blend that out go back in with that M433 just kind of pat right over to blend that black into that cranberry shade see it makes a world of difference honestly just that little bit of black right there kind of winged up winged up is that the right we don't know. Beautiful. Again, just like kind of wing it up a little bit at the very end. Beautiful. Okay. I'm okay. Okay. She's here. She is here. Okay. Now we're going to go in again with that M506 brush with, bear with me, the Jaclyn Hill palette with this mustard shade. What we're going to go in with is with this 506 brush a lot comes off a lot of pigment dust off the excess 
we're going to dust it very lightly on the very edges. We're not, not going to go above right below the, the brow bone. We're going to go dust it on the very edges so we get that kind of mustardy effect over. If you put it initially, I've found that it kind of disappears, which I'm not a fan of because I love this color so much. So, I'm going to put it over and burp a little bit more on the brush and just very lightly over the edges. We're just gonna dust it ever so lightly and it gives such a beautiful effect, even though we are doing like a cranberry look today. Um, just this mustard yellow over that is beautiful. Do you see how different that is already? We're gonna dust it actually all the way into kind of the inner corner as well. We're gonna dust it all the way in. That's, yeah, 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 yes, that's what we're doing. Okay, so, wow, I'm here for it. There's still that ne negative space between, between the shadow and my um, eyebrow, and we're going to clean that up. No, we're not. <laughs> we're going to go in, and we're going to put a light shade on that right there, but look how beautiful that is already. Gorgeous. Um, we're going to go in. The 35A. 39A. That's a 9. 39. Learn how to read. <laughs> 39A. Okay, we're going to go with that lighter shade, actually, on a clean finger. Oh, clean finger. I almost lost my um, mirror. That light shade, right? Yeah, on a clean finger. See? Beautiful pigment. Love that. Okay. Go in. <laughs> on the inner corner right here. And just kind of pat it on, kind of little swipes, not too, anything too heavy. Yeah, that's beautiful. Good, up, good, good. Up. A little more on the finger. Again, just patting it on the inner corner. We'll blend it out here in a minute, but just how it applies with your finger is. Heavenly, <laughs> beautiful. So now we're gonna take the M441 from earlier, I'm sorry, the M433 from earlier, and we're going to put right in the middle between those two. And the, the, the color's already on there, obviously, but we're gonna go in with this brush, this M433, and we're gonna go in with that, that color. I'm gonna pat off the excess, right? And we're gonna go over it, not a lot just to marry the two colors together. She came, sis. She came. We love where we're going right now. We love this look. We love it, love it, love it. So we're just blending those two colors together. It's a great time. I'm gonna go back and actually, cause I'm not, I don't like that negative space right there. So I wanna go back in actually with that cranberry shade. It's not cranberry, hello, that mustard shade from the Jack and Hill palette with the big fluffy brush. Go oh, in. Yeah. And actually, I'm going to mix these two together. Yeah, there we go. That's what she declared I want. And we're going to go over all of that. Blend all that together. Okay, cool. Just to mirror all that together. That's beautiful. I love that. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I stand. Okay. This shade. The one that my finger dug into by accident. This shade on the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is Beam. It's everything, okay? It's actually everything. I use it most of the time as a base for an actual highlighter that I put on my lid. Not my lid, my inner corner. So what we're gonna do is going to, and um, not sparingly at all, gonna coat the brush coat the brush and is in the inner corner right here and marry those two colors just like that just my finger kind of blend it out just a little bit because it's a little much right there just gonna blend those two colors together so I'm actually gonna put that same shade on the brow bone too. It's everything. Just that brow highlight 
Holy hell. Holy hell. Do you see that? Do you see that? Mm-hmm. Again, just going in with a little more. Do y'all see that? Holy hell. That's everything. Everything. So, there's one I all complete. Um, I'm actually going to do half the face kind of look. So, I will be right back. Hey guys, so that's the finished look. I um, popped on some lashes, some mascara, um, a little, I already put on a liner. I've kind of cleaned up the look a little bit. Um, also love this whole like half face kind of look, kind of like the power of makeup, if, um, if you will. Um, these lashes are just Ardell's, like they're not anything too expensive. I think I paid $4 for them, but they're very comfortable, very nice, kind of natural. My, my lashes themselves are pretty large. Um, I was, <laughs> I just realized, and I literally just, like, realized, I just said that, that I put a uh, concealer on both eyes, so I was going to do both eyes a whole look today, but then decided not to. So, we love that, so that's not how my eye normally looks. Uh, I would love you to sound off in the comments of, as to what you think about um, my first, like, get ready with me, and um, just my look in general. I know, like, it's not every day, and it's not like a kind of let's run to the supermarket kind of thing um but i love it and i'm very excited about doing this and i'm very excited about seeing how i edit, edit this to i have a lip on now this is gonna this is a birthday suit in the in jeffree star cosmetics um lip ammo it's right here it's beautiful it's like this beautiful like nudie pinky shade and i use a mac lip liner and shade soar so these two together are beautiful. I'm a fan. I might put a gloss over it. I might not. I like it kind of matte. But that is the finished look. Please, again, like I said, sound off in the comments. Subscribe. Um, turn on the post notifications. I'm not sure how that works yet, but we're going to get there and see. So it's been great, guys. I'll see y'all next time. Thank you. Mwah.